it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. I am super excited for today. I will be planning the week of June 25th in my brand new planner. My first plan with me in this in my vertical. I'm so excited. You may notice the coil looks a little different as well as the layout. Ooh, knocking over all my washi. I will be using the Scribble Prince Co. Uh, for your bundle kit for this. I'm super excited. So this was the bundle. So I do have um, all of the extras. So here's the freebie fashion girls, which I don't think I'm going to be using glitter headers, which I will be using. And here is the actual kit. This is such a beautiful kit. I am so excited about this. It didn't really have like a specific reason for using this except for that it is my first week in this planner let's celebrate um it's summertime and this is like my last like free week of the summer where i like didn't have like a specific theme i needed for a kit because the rest of them i kind of needed something specific anyway i am super excited about this i did grab um this is the simply gilded washi that came in the bundle and i grabbed some other fun simply gilded as well unicorn horn um confetti dots and some of the baby candy bows I might try something fun with the headers um and as well, these were the overlays that came specifically with this. I'll be grabbing a bunch of other silver foil as well. And I am going to jump on in. Okay, so I'm going to get started with the bottom washi and the date covers. I am going to cut this down, even though I really like um, both the washies. But I really just wanted to use some Simply Gilded. And I'll be able to use the other, the bows in my B6 when I reuse this. Anyway, I am really sorry about the lighting. Um, it does get better it, very shortly. Um, and like throughout kind of is better and worse. I am just, especially with like these really pastel kits, I'm struggling a little bit with the right settings on my camera. Although I feel like with the richer colors on like what I did in my B6 last week, I'm not having a problem. So next week shouldn't be a problem because it's very red, white, and blue for 4th of July. But I will eventually figure out how my camera works. Um, anyway, I, it does, like I said, it gets like better pretty quickly. Uh, just a little bit hard to see some of the yellows because they're so light, but I just thought the colors on this kit were so gorgeous, especially the yellows. Anyway, um, this week it was like a pretty good week, although kind of like an emotional roller coaster. Um, I'll talk about it more as I'm going through, but my toddler is having a really tough time right now. I think it's like a little bit of sibling adjustment but it's just like not, it doesn't look at all like what I expected, right? Like I expected like over jealousy, like meanness towards the baby maybe or whatever. But she is honestly the sweetest big sister ever. She always wants to like know where he is and what he's doing if he's not like right by her. And he gives, she gives her like hugs and she gives him like hugs and kisses and is like so adorable with him. But then like she's just kind of turned into like, an emotional mess where she gets like really sad and she's like frightened of everything now like things that were no problem like you know a couple of weeks ago and just like kind of more like a regression an emotional regression than like over jealousy if that makes sense but hopefully she will work through it because uh, I'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite but <laughs> but like I understand getting a sibling is probably like the hardest thing she's dealt with in her, you know, almost two and a half years of life. So, <laughs> um, anyway, I am putting down my full boxes. This kit had such a cute double box scene that I definitely, um, wanted to use it. And I love that ice cream cone one. Um, after this, I am going to do the glitter headers and then use some of the overlays, um, that came in the package. The overlays are from Rose Colored Days. Um, I love those anyways, but they were just like, they, she made special ones that matched this kit. Um, but yeah, so my, anyway, my daughter's just been a little emotional. Um, it's like kind of like every day is a new adventure, right? With a toddler. Sometimes she's so hilarious and adorable. And like, uh, she's like really obsessed with everyone's name right now. So she'd be like, what's mommy's name? Mommy's name is Linz. Like she's, it's just so funny. Um, but just like for every single person she knows. And even if she like calls them by her name, she'll be like, oh, what's their name? And then say their name again. It's really funny. But, um, and then like two seconds later, she's like hysterically crying about something, you know, toddlers, uh, they call it like the terrible twos. This was like my favorite age until like a few weeks ago and now I'm like I can't tell if this is my favorite age or my least favorite age or maybe it's like a little bit of both um pretty much a wild ride but anyway um just finishing up 
with the glitter headers and I am going to put confetti overlays on them. The overlays are from Rose Colored Days as well. And I um, have a couple different ways that I like to do this. I don't like to do it on everything because that's just like a little too much. So sometimes I do it like all over the full boxes or sometimes I follow the color like what I'm doing here. So on this one I picked purple. Um, love purple. So I just laid it over all of the purple um, overlays. That way it just like adds a little sparkle but it's not like uh, you don't have to use them on every single one. Anyway, so I put the ice cream cone down over the coat and then immediately regretted it, but you cannot pull these up. So I just had to live with it. And by the end of the week, I actually kind of liked it, but I do wish that I had put that in a different box. But anyway, I used all four this week. So this is an extra fancy spread. And then I'm going to get started on my sidebar. Um, I brought in a little bit of the candy bows to get that separated. And I decided to mix it up on my sidebar this week. I'm still doing my like daily tracker for my Instagram posts, but then I decided to bring in another weekly ombre um, and use that to track my steps for the week, except for that at some point, uh, I think to film, I took off my Fitbit and I haven't been able to find it since. Like it's literally uh, Monday now, the Monday after this week, and I still cannot find my Fitbit. So um, anyway, I will eventually have to like, I found something else to use that works and I want to pull up all the stickers but like I don't know what happened to my Fitbit and I really need to find it because I would like to take it on vacation with me um I have a feeling my cleaning people might have moved it somewhere when they were like cleaning up the office um but anyway yeah I will be able to find that shortly um so I put down this week and workout headers and like I said like midweek I'll end up pulling up the workout header and just replacing that with something else then I'm putting down meal little things at the um, throughout the week. Um, I do actually think I like the concept of doing steps on the side, but of course, like counting my steps on the side, but of course that does involve actually remembering to wear my Fitbit and knowing where that is. Anyway, then I decided to use the skinny appointment labels that came in the kit and on the glitter sheet to mark down um, my nanny hours for the week, but also we had like our uh, mice appointments this week. So I'm using that to mark down both of those things, the one that are going like the right way or for the nanny hours and the ones that are going the other way, which I'll add an icon to are for the mice appointments. And then I'm putting down these uh, label stickers and I'm gonna use that with some bows to mark my um, videos for the week. And then I put down a uh, half box to mark down my son's weight for the week. Um, so I grabbed these uh, little bow stickers from uh, Paper Muse Crafts to mark my video. I thought they looked so cute. Um, and then I grabbed a foiled icon from Station Stickers for the baby stuff and an Instagram icon from Artbox Stickers and some play buttons from Rose Colored Days. Um, and then the color icons are just from the kit. Um, so then on Wednesday. Um, I didn't have any plans on Monday or Tuesday, um, but on Wednesday we have story time at the library and I knew I was going to want to go get a coffee first. Um, I've been like super, super into the cold foam cappuccinos lately. Um, they're so delicious. Anyway, so then I put that on top and layered the half box for a library and used one of my custom scripts from Station Stickers plus a munchkin from Once More With Love. Um, and then on Monday, I decided to add in to that top section. Um, I just had gone to the Amazon bookstore and like took pictures of a bunch of books that I wanted to read. So I wanted to like put that down into a list in my, um, in my B6 and like in one of my notes pages for the beach. So I just put that down to mark down to do that. And then I flipped it open to do the colorway on my meal little things. And then I will flip over to the second half of the week so that I can work on the rest of my very limited amount of plans that I have know in advance. Um, so on Thursday, my nanny is coming again. And on Friday, we have another mice appointment. That was our last one. We were declared rodent free. Hooray. i um, very excited about that. <laughs> and then as well, um, our cleaning people are coming on Friday. Um, and then I realized that the last icon I had for the mice appointment was purple. So I just decided to switch those two stickers. Um, uh, and just so that I wouldn't have to use a purple sticker, a purple icon on top of a purple sticker because I don't like the way that looks. Um, so then as well, I um, 
it was on Saturday. It will Simply Gilded new. Oh, so on Saturday I have a video and as well Simply Gilded new releases. Um, it was like the collab with Jasenia and some other stuff. And I like, you know, got there right at the minute and I got everything I wanted. Um, which I'm guessing a lot of people did because that seemed like a really smooth new releases. But I actually ended up placing two orders because I was scared that I would, the collab would run out. And then one, the collab was like, didn't sell out until after all the other stuff did. Um, it still sold out, but like it took like a day and a half to sell out. And then two, I, so, and then I definitely did not need to place two orders, but I also had like the wrong order of things. But anyway, um, smooth new releases and I got everything I want. So happy about that. Then on Thursday we have swimming and on Friday, um, we go to touch bots. So using some more station stickers, scripts, and as well, a mermaid scribbler and a once more with love playtime munchkin. Honestly, Tasha Bats was a bit of a disaster this week. My daughter just like lost it and demanded that we go home, um, which we ended up going out to lunch afterwards. So, um, but anyway, so just kind of like a crazy week with the kiddos. Um, so that is everything on the pre-planning. So I am going to fill this out. So just using my Pigma Micron to fill in, um, to fill this out before, you know, it's, I start getting into the day by day. I just like, I thought I had edited this already and done some of this and I thought I just had to do the voiceover, but it turned out that I like hadn't done any of the editing or anything. So that's why this was going up a little bit late. Um, I tried to edit last night, but then my kids had just like, both of them had a really hard time falling asleep, which is very unusual. They're usually pretty easy to go down. Um, so just kind of like, you know, crazy life happens, etc. Um, and then I get like all bummed about it, but then I'm like, guys, this is a hobby. I, you know, <laughs> this is just a stickering hobby and the videos are a hobby. Um, so anyway, then I got to learn to let that stuff go. Um, I know you probably don't even notice if things go up a day late or not even a day late, like in the afternoon. Anyway, then on to my day by day. Um, Monday, I did a bunch of filming. Honestly, I did like a bunch of filming all week because I'm trying to like film some stuff in advance. Not my plan with me's, but like everything else for while I'm on vacation. And then um, I also ran um, an errand. I think I went to Michael's, but now I can't remember. Nope, it was Target. I just grabbed my planner so I could see what I was doing. Um, and then as well, I had like a really big happy mail day. So I decided to mark that down since I had the space. Um, mostly I was really excited that my PBC order from Studio Signe came in. Um, it was like my last PBC order to come in, but also I'd just been like dying to get my hands on those TN charms. They're like I'm so obsessed with them. But anyway, so I just, you know, marked that in with washi and a little envelope. And then I decided to use that little charm deco since that's kind of what I got charms. Um, and yeah, so we had pasta for dinner. <laughs> um, and then I am um, filling out, you know, the stuff for Tuesday. And on Tuesday, um, I didn't really, we didn't really like do that much, but I did bake cookies with my daughter. She's been like really into like helping in the kitchen, which is so cute. Um, and like just really fun. So we baked cookies together, her two year old helping -ness. So not super helpful, but actually she kind of made a mess trying to eat the dough, but it was really funny. And then on uh, Tuesday, I also had a catch up call with um, my like friend slash mentor. I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know how exactly how to describe her. And then I at night I took a bath and painted my nails, but I did such a bad job that I ended up redoing them later in the week. Um, I always like think it's a really good idea to paint my nails in the bath and then always regret it by the time I'm done and say, I'm not going to do this again. And then the next week, I end up doing it again. So yeah, I am apparently a little bit slow to learn. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so it was, uh, it was like a, just a ch kind of chill day, um, like hanging out in the house, just getting some stuff done and playing with the kids. And honestly, that's usually what I do on like Mondays and Tuesdays anyways. Um, then on Wednesday, um, after the library, the 
my daughter was being like a little bit nutso and we didn't have like anything for lunch in the house so I just picked up some food at Taco Cabana I have been like really craving it after the weekend having it and I like I feel like I always want to eat the same things again and then we were like super stressed out at night and it was just like a crazy afternoon and we like fed my daughter dinner by herself because we didn't really know what we wanted I forgot to take anything out and then I just ended up eating popcorn for dinner which is you know super awesome anyway then I also um did some reading this week and I read uh Crazy Rich Asians which I actually ended up finishing the whole series this week I'm like a really fast reader like three days is pretty much the max amount of time I spend on a book and that has to be like a pretty long book um I like I'm like a power reader like I get super into it and I like don't want to put it down which is harder now that I have kids but um like I'll read at night and stuff but also I just read really fast but anyway it was a really good book it's gonna be a movie soon and I ended up like I said, reading the whole trilogy this week, it was, it was very entertaining and like a super fast read. So then I did pull up that workout sticker on the sidebar cause it was Wednesday at this point and I hadn't found my Fitbit. Um, so I decided to just like write down what I had been working on planner wise, um, that week, like what I had been filming and stuff since I've been doing like so much stuff on the planners mostly because I am on maternity leave and I still have my nanny coming nine hours a week and that's like a lot of free time um you know I use it to get stuff done around the house and she just watches my toddler but my baby's still pretty sleepy so I've been getting a lot of uh planner stuff done as well and I plan on fully enjoying that while it lasts because once we get back from vacation I am back to work um anyway then on Thursday we didn't really do anything in the morning before swim so I just put down some deco for that and we didn't really do anything in uh in the afternoon I just kind of filmed and worked on my TN stuff my nanny was here um and I like I so I just marked that down using an icon from the kit and a Arbuck stickers um foiled TN icon um and then I put down a little thing that said we had chicken for dinner but we didn't we had lamb chops and I don't know why I wrote chicken like it's not like we changed our plans or anything like I just messed up and then I took that off and we had I had another little thing so I swapped that back in and then I did since I didn't really have anything to put in this section I just wrote that I redid my nails because there was a scribbler with nail polish included in this kit so I just figured I would use that Um, And then I just put down a bunch of deco in that section. I really love the deco in this kit. It's so cute. And there was like a ton of like little pieces. Um, And I feel like I use so much of it, but I still have like a ton left, which is great for a V6 spread. So I am really um, excited that I got to use some of it because I wasn't that busy, but also that I have some left for my V6 because, you know, I like to decorate the sides of that. Anyway, then um, I was filming on a different day now and I filled in the rest of my uh, sidebar with what I had worked on and what I ended up doing um, on with my Instagram posts. I think I posted every day last week except Tuesday. I'm like super close to a thousand followers and I'm like really trying to get there so I can do this giveaway. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it before I go on vacation but it's like super close so I might be so there may be a giveaway next week um or it may just have to wait till I get back from the beach but anyway either way giveaway coming soon and if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely you should at my crafty plans but on Friday like I said touch bots was kind of a disaster my daughter demanded to leave um and then by the time we got to the restaurant where I was going to pick up food my baby was sleeping so and my daughter was like all excited to be at a restaurant so we just decided to eat there and it, actually that's the first time I've taken both kids to eat out by myself so that's kind of exciting and it went really well um, and we had poke house which is like one of those poke ball places my daughter really 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 likes fish and really likes salmon sushi like raw salmon she'll just eat a ton of it which is I guess kind of crazy for like a two and a half year old but she does really like it so um so I don't have to worry about that and she ate so much and then she finished like all of the salmon I got her and then was like eating mine um anyway it was like pretty nuts I always feel like (laughs) I don't know if that's like impressive or not actually because like toddlers are so strange like she won't eat like certain things but like we never have a problem with like proteins she's kind of like very much a meat and fish eater and actually she asks for fish a lot um more than we eat it which we eat fish like a fair amount 
Um, but anyway, then on Saturday, we went to our favorite breakfast spot for breakfast. And then after that, we went to the playground, the, the really nice playground. So I used one of these sandcastle dinos. My daughter loves the sandbox, even though I like, am kind of grossed out by it. But anyway, and that egg sticker is from Inky and the Brain. Um, and she has really cute food doodles in her shop. And um, I think she's going to be releasing pastel ones soon too, which is super cute. Anyway, then that's pretty much all I did, um, except on Saturday, I did finish filming my TN setup, which is super exciting. It'll be out in a couple weeks. Um, those things take forever to edit, but I just am like so obsessed with it. I'm not going to be using it until vacation. So starting next week, I'll use it, but um, I'm just like, Oh, I'm so happy about it. And yeah, it's always really exciting when you finish that up. Anyway, then on Sunday, I we went to the splash pad. Um, and so I used a summer scribbler and a half box for that. Um, and I also did a ton of laundry and I needed to do some editing um, to get this video out. But I didn't get as much done as I would have hoped because my kiddos did not feel like going to bed and we kept having to go back in which is like like I said that's not typical for our kids at all anyway also on Sunday we had lunch at Jersey Mike's which I think is kind of silly but my husband really wanted it um the reason I say that that's silly is because we are literally going to be in New Jersey in a week and you can get way better hoagies than or subs if you're not from Philadelphia than Jersey Mike's has um once you're in New Jersey, obviously. Anyway, um, so I'm just finishing this up with some deco and, uh, you know, a last icon because we did run some errands on Sunday as well. Um, and that is everything for this week. Okay, that is everything all finished up. I think this looks so pretty. I'm really happy I saved this kit to use my first week in my new planner. Um, I did all of my writing in either a Tombow Mono drawing pen or in a Pigma Micron. Um, those are my two go-to fine liners. They are linked in the description below. Um, I'm so in love with how this looks. Give it a little viv wiggle. Um, here is what I have left in the kit. Obviously it's going to be a ton because it's a Scribble Prince Co kit and there's a bunch of extras with this anyways. Um, so a good selection of deco, a lot of icons, etc. Um, here is a little freebie. Barely used any of that. Um, little things and some color washi. Um, one of the glitter colors plus the flags and one quarter box. Um, some other stuff over here. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I will definitely be, um, I just took that back on upside down. <laughs> um, I will definitely be able to use this in a B6 spread. Um, so stay tuned for that at some point. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribed and definitely check me out on Instagram at mycraftyplans to keep up with me in my planners. Bye.